Hey, what's going on, guys? Mod Janinker here to play some uh, duels. So I've never, I've never really recorded duel duels because, like, I'm not that good at it. But I think I want to record it now and at least put my foot into the water. So if I know anything, I think Arch uh, Mage Willow or Arch Witch Willow is really good. So we're gonna start with her, and I will. Uh, give a random demon plus two one look up four Okay, so I will see you guys after I build the quick deck and We're back. I've got my deck ready, and I'm ready to go So of course this is duels and This will be all the recorded duels not cut matches. This will all just be everything This will be just a like an hour and a half recording to two hour recording of just straight up duels. So, it's going to be longer, but I hope it's not so long that, like, people lose interest and disappear. But I don't have a big enough fan base to, like, necessarily care about that, question mark, if that makes sense. But I know I've wanted to play duels. What is that hero power? Just a warning. I have a black spell. Kill Mox. I know that Kill Mox is really good. From like the things I've seen so far, Kill Mox is insane. Uh, Kathun is on like every deck. Because I started playing yesterday. Because... Okay, so I played it when it first came out because I bought the pre-order. And then I, like, uh, stopped playing because, like, I, it's, it's really expensive to keep up with this. So, like, it was taking a lot of effort to, like, buy the cards I need for each, like, deck. So I just quit playing. But, like, the long, the more I look into it, like, the more of these cards I have... Like, the decks that are good now, I actually have cards for compared to, like, decks I, uh, don't have. Or, like, what they used to be. My bet. Reduce the cost that costs five or more by one. Is that any good at all? I think we're just gonna... Yeah, I think that's a fine play. I was half tempted to take Drax. It's like I saw it. And I was like, hmm. But I think that's uh, Void Drinker's really good. I think that'd be a really strong play. But I've yet to see what this guy does with his life. Yeah, but Cthulhu's in like every deck. Cthulhu was like a duels made card. <laughs> he was so good. Just throw him into a random duels deck, and boom, you're just the king. But no, I record a lot. I try to get a week's worth of recording in. In like three days or something. Because of course... Uh, like, at the end of the day... It's gonna copy the stupid void dream. Yeah. But at least he doesn't know that, right? Dang it, dang it, dang it. But, no, I try to get... I only, I'm only i only available to record two days out of a week. Whoa. So I'm going to copy of it. That's kind of nutty. No, but like I said, uh, I'm only able to record two days a week. So I'm trying my artist to keep up with a decent recording schedule. Nice. Now you guys have to bear with me. I am not the best Hearthstone player on the planet, nor will I ever be. I simply just kind of roll with the punches. I think my lowest I've ever got was gold. 
Gold something. I can't remember. Do I lose? Do I just lose now? What can I use? I could use school, school spirits. Maw. Do I just try to kill him? I can drop kill mox and try to kill him. Or I can start going towards the Cthune win, win condition. Are you kidding me? I become one with the silverbacks. I can summon them on command now. This is a power that you guys wish you had. I'm half tempted to skip some of these earlier matches. Because, like, I could get that it not being super entertaining. Oh, I'm gonna get Cthulhu so hard. That's scary. I need to find something. Find it soon. Yeah, he's going towards it. Uh-oh. Um... Well... Here's my hope. Can I beat him to it? What are the odds that I can beat him to Cthulhu? Oh yeah. <laughs> Void... Void... Uh, what is that stupid? Void Walker? I was gonna say Void Lurker. Well that protects me for a minute. He's going to start hard playing Cthune. What's that, a 4-drop Cthune piece? How many Cthune pieces has he played? Just the one? Do you give him all rush? No. How do I clear this? Uh, you've got one. That's not good at all. I think I'm going to make that trade. I'll play you. And I'll hit this and pray that I get the bone, bone web. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Because next turn... Oh! 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 This guy's got to figure something out soon, because I, I, I put Cthulhu in my deck next turn. And then I have like a 1 in four, one in 3 chance of drawing him. Or I could just keep upping that with uh, my hero power. This guy's got to figure something out soon. Oh my god. Okay, um, what is my lowest cost card? That? Oh, that's really good. I have enough mana. Hold on. Order. My bad. And then we just blast him in the face. And then we hit this button. And probably just trade off Killmox, right? Because he always know he already knows I have it, so it's not like it's a secret or anything. Because I know Wicked Whispers isn't gonna be very like used, but if I can draw Cthune, I have a 1 in 2 chance of drawing Cthune. Which is what I want. I can't believe he burned his Cthune piece. That's crazy. I wonder what he's got in his hand. Is it all reaction? Or what? That's a weird Piero power. I don't think it's any good, honestly. What is this? Lethal explosion? Healing? Oh. Oh my. I know you. You're in Battlegrounds. <laughs> so Cthune isn't lethal right now, right? 20, 28, 21. Oh my god. Do we risk it? Do we risk it anyways? There's oh, like a 1 in 2 chance that this isn't lethal and the game carries on. Do we play a turn? Or go for lethal. Wait a turn or go for lethal. Uh, can he kill me in one turn? What are the odds that he can kill me in one turn? Nobody can drop enough health to mess me up. 
I think we kill Mox the Menexa. Let me just drop that Hofi trades. That works too, though, I guess. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's what I want. The next turn, I think we just Cthoon, right? What is that? The only way he could drop it up is if he gives enough. Why did he do that? Why didn't he just do that to mine? He can't get Cthune. He burned a Cthune piece. Um, wait, does he have a copy of it? Oh, no, he's just dead. I've done it. Oh, yeah. Choose a treasure. Uh, after you draw a spell, reduce its cost by one this turn. The first spell you cast each turn costs one less whenever your weapon is destroyed. Those are bad treasures. Uh, soul exploits. I think we take soul exploits. Because that's more uh, soul fragment stuff. Compared to like soul fragment stuff, but no malice. Uh, malice. The Malicia? Malicia? So I think we take that. Alright, one win. So, if you guys watch this and you don't like watching the full games, let me know, because I can pause, beat the first couple, and then we can go into the longer ones. You know, maybe make it more entertaining. If Philosophy's first, I think we keep it. Because this is Priest, so it's gonna, like, be a lot slower. Yeah, we're gonna keep, we're gonna be greedy and keep philosophy, and then copy killbox. Cause I don't think I have any other demons in my deck. Okay, philosophy coin wicked whispers. No, that doesn't do what I think it does. I think it gives minions in your hand. Oh, is that thief priest? Is thief priest any good? Interesting. Oh, that's free. Cool. So we do that, then that. Unless we draw a demon. Do we have a demon in our deck? Oh, it's not going to tell me, is it? That's not a demon. What if I don't get him? <laughs> oh my god. I thought about it. That's the worst part. We should have done this. Confirm the silverware golem. Dang it, dang it, freaking dang it. Gilmox is scary. Like, that's one heck of a card. If that was an actual Hearthstone card, like an actual uh, standard card, Priest isn't going to have any kind of, like, way to deal with, or any weapons, right? I believe that they could have weapons, but I doubt it. How many cards do we have in hand? Seven. We play this. Then we'll have... What are the odds that we coin hero power? Are you kidding me again? Well, he knows it's not like it's a mystery now. The man's invincible. I might just end up playing him by himself. Not even getting rid of it. But... You always kind of play towards a Cthulhu win, win, win style these early games, so I found out. So, like, we just kill him with Cthulhu over time. No. Um. I think we take a Void Drinker. I still think that's a really powerful card. What are the odds we get it? Nice. My lowest cost card is two. I wish. My hand's about full. I need to start playing cards. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. 
How come they didn't have very many cards? Oh, because I have Cthulhu pieces. I started with five more. Or four more. Um, we need to find some kind of way to put these into our deck. Yeah! Raw silverware golem. He's here. He's coming, dude. What have I done to my et? Okay. Raw silverware golem. I inspire one day to have a decent discard warlock deck and then just grind every day of my life. I think next turn we just play Void Drinker and go. What are the odds that they have something to deal with Void Drinker? A lot of their cards in hand are my cards, right? You have two from my deck and then one from my hand? No. They're all from my deck. Okay, I think we just play Void Drinker. And then try to discard something. You're never being used again. Okay, we have 10 damage on board. No longer 10 damage on board. Shadow Bolt. This is Thief Priest. Is it any good, though? Is it a kill mox or a bone web? Either one. There it is. We're trying to mill myself out so I can get all these Cthune pieces. I might just have to play this one raw. Because, like, I've seen nothing so far. <laughs> this man is spell man. Oh. Well, no. We're kind of in on this one, actually. No. Never mind. Dream's over. Do I just play this by itself? There's no way he's gonna start flooding me with tiny minions, right? Those are some big kill moxes. Holy cow. Oh, that that's gonna help a lot. I need to play this stupid card. And then I got two more pieces of Cthun. Cthun. And then we'll see from there. I think Maw of Cthun is going to be one of the harder ones to play. Actually, this might be my chance. I hit him and then clear with heart. Just because I need to get rid of it. I clear two with heart now. Drop one more. Come on, buddy. Do it for me. There is probably a so much more, like, acceptable way of clearing this. But why do I care? <laughs> I think we get rid of one of those three, right? Oh. No. I like that quick healing. Quick healing is really good. Never mind. Not many draw it all at once. There we go. I'm about ready. I play this, just hit him in the face, and then I could just moth the Cthun, whatever he plays now, whatever his uh, corrupted cards were. See, he found a place to use it. I could. Does he? Do you not have to have Cthun? If he just gets all four pieces of Cthun, does he just? Oh my God. There's no way this happens right now. Man's one away. I gotta beat him! This is crazy. I got Cthune. Now it's your move. Where's your Cthune? What if he just steals my Cthune from my deck? I need to top deck Cthune. Or he needs to play something so I can heal back to 25. Because if he just drops the next piece of Cthune, I'm scared. But there's no way he could have it, right? What are the odds that the four cards he steals from my, like, 20-card deck, all four of them, pieces of Cthune? That's terrifying, though, that he's 
getting those. I don't like the way that looks. I got two uh, militias. He drops big stuff. Oh my god. Oh, no, he already had that one. Oh, yeah. Suck it, idiot. I thought he was gonna do it. I thought he was gonna do it. That's crazy. I love how her thing is not a well played, but it's just like straight up, you're dumb. <laughs> All right, choose loot. Uh, we got more souls, fragment stuff. Uh, weird things. And then demon stuff. I think we're just going to keep taking soul fragment packages. <laughs> I'm half tempted to start going live on uh, Discord. But I didn't message any of my friends. So, they're not going to be in the chat. And the problem with recording on Twitch, or t uh, live streaming on Twitch, is that my computer absolutely despises Twitch. Or my internet does. And I don't know, like, super optimal uh, ways to set up Twitch. Or super optimal ways to set up my internet and my uh, uploads and stuff. If that makes any sense at all. Oh, is this aggro druid with stealth? That's That's scary. I actually don't like that. Oh, well that'll help. Yeah, this is just gonna be aggro druid with uh, stealth. So, yeah, there it is. I think we just kill it and move on, right? There's no way we let it live. If you, if, if if it lives, it kills me. That stupid thing will be the thing to haunt me in my nightmares. And then I have I have Cthulhu to kind of deal with anything else. If he drops another one or something. That's annoying. I bet you his entire deck costs less than three. Was that a Wrath or... So many good 4 drops. So little time. Do we draw a card? Do we just pass? I don't want to pass. I... Double kill mox is insane though. That's a big heal. I think we just I think we just hold it. Just go. I really do. Oh my lord. Speaking of which, there he is. We'll go for it after I play Soul Shear. Therefore, they can get plus one, plus one. And it's not super important to uh, copy him now. Does that get stealth? No. That gets stealth, though. No. I'm wrong. He's summoning these. He's not playing them straight up. Wasn't that kind of annoying? As much as I wanted to clear that, I think clearing that's pretty good, too. I do. I got big heals on deck, though. So, if we be patient and keep going, we'll kill him eventually. And that's what I need in my life. Hopefully we hit that at least once, right? Yeah, I kill that. Do it. Nice. We went from one four one to another. Um, I don't want to risk losing one of these, so I'm gonna take fire breather. 
I need to start drawing more cards, so we're just gonna reveal a kill box. Ooh, tiny heal. That is a big Malicia. Usually I only get them one through like three, one to three. But that's big. We might just play her off tempo. Yeah, I think we might end up just playing her for tempo. Yeah, cause she'll clear those. Yeah, she'll clear that pretty nicely, actually. Actually, Art of Cthun does that too. And now she's not as scary. Look at me clearing the boards. And then we have a huge uh, HP regain. Oh, does he not have a move? Oh. Put this apple on your head. Apple on your head. I wish I had another. I wish I had more pieces of Cthulhu. Specifically, uh, what is that? The heart. Heart does the trick. I'm gonna try to tempo it and scare him into making a bad move. But I need to start discarding that so I can have a more health. It's probably for the best that I played that. Judging by what's happening at this very moment. It's probably for the best that I was making that move. I got another sociologist. Uh, although it's not going to be near as good as this one. They don't have any AoE, do they? Yeah, I figured. He's going to die if he doesn't kill this, right? I think so. I think he dies if he doesn't clear. Uh, 9, 14. Lethal. Right? Yeah, I have a soul fragment. It's lethal if he doesn't kill it. But he's gotta kill it somehow. Otherwise, he's in a pickle. He's dead if I don't draw a soul fragment. Which has happened 10 bajillion times. Nice. Nice. Kind of moving along. Oh. Destroy an enemy minion, upgrade this shuffle into your deck, draw two cards, gain four each armor, one for each spell I've casted. Um, it's either Slurry Mob or Clockwork Assistance. Because card draw, this hero power basically covers all card draw. I think it's Clockwork. Because that's just a big minion, and it's a cheap big minion. Right? No, I think it's this. Holy cow. Fist to direct this when you play or discard this deal for damage. I think it's either this, funny enough, or this. Because actually, this gives my hero power more buffs. Because then I can just kind of play off those and deal damage while I'm discarding and drawing, which is a lot of value. And I'm looking for those kind of big value turns where I just kind of like search moving. I think I'm going to end up playing two or three duels today. And then posting them all throughout the week. I don't have anything else that I really want to sit down and record, you know. So, I think that's my plan. I may do a little bit of editing. So... Like right now, I think I will be back whenever I'm in a game. We're finally back after I restarted the queue like three different times. We finally found our warrior. How often do you find a warrior? Warrior? 
I don't play against Warrior very often, right? How can I kill what's already dead? Don't talk to my guy like that. Actually, I want to keep this just in case he tries to play fast tempo weapons. That's a great discard. <laughs> I knew they'd come in handy. I'm killing stuff. Uh oh. Here we go. If he can't kill that, we fisted Rex and deal 4 damage to face. Unless he plays a minion here, then we just beat that minion to death with a stick. Now, oddly enough, I don't think anything else would have been as good as the Fist of Jaraxxus. Because that's dead now, if I get a decent shot. Please. Nice! Oh, I could have killed it. My bad. I was jumping the gun a little. I forgot that I drew two cards. Whoa. So I think we shoot that and then try to get the upgrade off that. Shoot. I'm retarded. I think I might get rid of one of these sociologists. Two of them is good, actually. I don't think I have anything that I'm, like, wanting to draw that bad. You don't hurt so well. Can I play this? Okay, I was about to get really mad if it just didn't do anything. Why is it such a longly animated attack? It just kind of like slowly hits every piece, which is weird. Um, I think getting Cthulhu is a little more important than upgrading this. As I'm sure it just upgrades into a destroy too. And if he plays that right now, it's going to be a big minion, and I just want to kill it. You know, I want to kill the good minions he just drops. So having this on hand is good. He's got Pillars of Fallen, so this is just worthless. What is that? Shame. Did we just kill my own minion? No, because he's going to just gain armor off of it. We kill it and go. Therefore, he can't get a lot of armor. Because I need healing. My issue right now is that he's going to outpace me with insane weapons. Great. I have a 1 in 2 chance of killing what I want. Actually, I can just this. Okay. I'm not finding a space to use this. This clears it way too nicely. There we go. Now I've got some pressure on board, he's gonna have to start clearing. He's gonna hit that 5 5 hero power hit or what? What? He could have gained armor? Unless he's gonna buff it. Yeah. I don't think that mattered very much, though. Did it? More pressure? What is that? Ah, Wait. That's discover a secret from your own thing, right? I have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting this, which would be crazy, right? Nice! 
He needs a brawl. If he ain't got brawl, he's kind of dead. That's a lot of damage I've got on board right now. This is crazy. I am the Arch Witch, dude. That's me. He doesn't have secrets, right? What? What are those? Hunter? Are those Hunter secrets? Yeah. He grabbed that one pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it's Explosive Trap. I hate to be that guy, but I'm pretty sure it's Explosive Trap. Oh! The Slurry Mob comes in handy. Bop. We're gonna test Explosive with that. Yeah, it's Explosive. He's dead. He's dead. What a game, dude. What a game. I waited like two minutes just to body a warrior and move on. Alright, here we go. More picking. Oh, discard stuff. Ooh. Life steal deal three damage to a minion. Takes damage from your card. Take damage. I don't have anything to really deal damage to myself with, and I don't want to deal damage to myself with. I honestly think it's this. I think more card draw and life steal taunts is good. Cause when I'm in a pickle and I need some kind of like life life uh, life steal and uh, some taunts to protect me from uh, like aggro hunter, which is what my last warlock one run lost to. Like, I got beat by three aggro hunters in a row. Just death rattle, death rattle, death rattle, death rattle. He got reborn rights in the death rattles, and there's no way I can deal with it. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah, speaking of which... I need to keep all this, right? Maybe not Malkazar's Imp. Because... But the problem is, if I get, start drawing bad stuff, I get Malkazar Imps. Okay, yeah, we're good. At least you didn't get Reborn Rides. That would have made this so annoying for me. Nice. You know, I wish Hero, or Warlock in Standard had a, like, a ability to switch his hero power to this. What would I even get rid of? I need to just hold on to my cards. I think... I don't think Malkazar's Imp's gonna help me at all right now. I think it's such a, like... I need so much clearing that Malkazar's Imp getting rid of my clearing is not gonna help at all. I know that may have been a dumb move, but I think it's for the best. I think that move was uh, probably one of the best moves I could have made there. Of course, drawing a card's not super important, but I have ways to deal with total bullshittery now. Do we try for the bone web? Yeah, I think we try for it now. If we not, we'll have to get rid of the school spirits. Nice. Hunter isn't going to have much clearing, is it? I don't think so. I think Hunter is more of a uh, bop, bop, bop. He's got to know more, please. Nice. I'm trying to, like, kill him fast, but also, like, hold on to my clearing stuff. I can deal six damage. Actually, not one turn. Yes, in one turn. I can deal six damage in one turn. As he didn't have reborn rights, so it's not super scary. Right now I have 11, 14, 15. Not lethal. There's no way I'm going to get lethal anytime soon. I need to... If he, do if he can't kill me, then I have a turn to set up lethal. I think 
the most optimal move was killing that. Like, in all seriousness, the ability of killing that makes it uh, asleep whenever he summons another one, which allows me to Doom Guard just kill him. He doesn't seem to be as good as the hunters I was facing the other day. Because the, the hunters the other day were just mopping me, dude. They'd slam my face on the floor and mop the floor with it. It's painful. They'd make me look like a little baby. What is that? Uh, explosive trap? Explosive trap doesn't save him, right? Unless it's like... Wait a minute. If that's explosive trap, he lives now, right? Nice. No? It's freezing. He survived. I don't want him to know I have five burst damage. What are the odds I get my silverware golem back? Do it. Run it. No. Oh. Well, that's that's nice clearing if he plays a taunt. Does he have lead does he have a way to kill that? I hope not. That's been alive for a while now. Whoa. Okay. What am I sitting at? Uh I don't have enough mana to play both of those. Silverware golem? Nice. Um I'm just gonna keep him at low health. If I can keep him at low health, I can just Doom Guard win. You know? That's my whole purpose on life, is to try to beat Hunter. Oh, does he, does he lose? Is he loser man? What is that? Explosive trap? <laughs> Eat it. They were whopping me the other day. I was trying to get my revenge. Whoa. That could be crazy. All my spells benefit me, right? There's no way it could backfire. That's okay, yeah. Demons in control. Group learning. Lorekeeper Polkelt is an interesting pick. That would confirm my Void Drinker, my Kill Mox, Doom Guard, kind of those big, like, damaging cards. And then Spear of Sapiens. I'm taking that one. It's an interesting pick. It really is. But I'm I'm almost positive that's what I want though. We're 5-0, dude. Two druids, a priest, a warrior, and a hunter. Not bad. Making it work. Demon Hunter. This is, what is that? What is that hero power? It's passive. Uh, yo. I think I keep the rest, because if they play an early weapon, I can kind of clear it, work around it. And of course, Shadow Boat will trigger twice, so that's kind of bonkers. This is going to be one of... Oh my, this is going to be a battle for the ages right here, right now. I just do this thing. What is this? Gain one attack. If they're all cheap cards, I don't think we're winning this one. Um. I 
I think we just hit and pass. I could get rid of Doomguard. That's scary. Oh, she passed, didn't even hit me. I think we try to get rid of Doomguard, right? That's an amazing next turn. <laughs> it was worth giving up, uh, what did I give up? Oh my lord, what is happening there? Oh, those are my four cards, that's what I gave up, and that's what I got. Okay, gave up my Shadow Bolt. No, that means it's gonna cost five. Six. Give me Fist of Draxus. Hell yeah. Face damage. Every time. That's just free face damage. Huh? What did he die to? What happened to that guy? I'm so confused. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> I did that completely on accident. Actually, I could have just... No, no, it wouldn't have worked that way. That's great. Okay. What kind of good battle cries is that? That's why that was six, because it's double battle cries. Will this, some... Will this put four of them in my deck? Is that how that works? There's two. There's two more, wow. That's kind of cool. Two Dune Guards for 12 damage, just 12 burst damage. That's interesting. Yeah, Lord Keeper Polkel will like help me achieve Cthun as a win condition. Uh, give me my Kill Mox, Sociologists. That needs to die. How do I kill it? Sure. That'll give me a bunch of... We need to get rid of this Doom Guard. I just realized that this is going to give me like three kill moxes. Because it's going to trigger twice if I play it first. Which is a lot of kill mox power. And what I need in my life? Kill mox power. It is a shame. I do not have any way to deal with that. That's fine. It's gonna trigger twice. Ooh! I haven't seen a weapon, but I'm not gonna play that too early. I need to get rid of it so I can, like, give plus two two to my kill moxes. But all these can clear one of them. I've got a second one ready to go. Unless he's got some pretty good clearing. Which he could. I'm not gonna put it past him. He's got a lot less cards than me, so... It's a good thing he doesn't have a... Cthune. If he had a Cthune win condition, that's when I'd be a little spooked. I kinda want pull kill. I feel like getting kill moxes in my... Cthune pieces is really good right now. Even if Cthune doesn't kill him, it'll pretty much clear all the armor and like 80% of his health. If it's a minion, he just messed himself up. Unless he plays both of them. What could they be? Oh, he's got to kill minions now. Yeah, Cthune's going to clear a lot of the armor and help me get more pieces in. Because if this guy is having trouble clearing 6-6s, six there's no way he's going to clear like a 20-20 kill mox. Right? You better hurry. He's about to lose that battle cry he just played. Hurry. Go. Nice. 
I'm proud of him. Deal one face damage. I think, I think I gotta get rid of it. It's been sitting in my hand too long. It's not benefiting me in any way, shape, or form. Even if he did play a weapon, it's not going to be absolutely terrifying, you know? I'm trying to fish for... Are you kidding me? I'll actually take that. That's pretty good for the future. I think we just kind of run with it. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what I need. Because I can start mass generating those, kind of keep them in hand forever. Uh oh. In clear, clear, probably clear. I can do six damage. Or kill it. Well, that five. Seven. Alright. That's what I like to see. That'll do our sticks, and then we'll finish him with this. Then we'll get rid of, uh, Jiklik. Polk Elf, you were who I wanted earlier. You're gonna help me find Cthun. I think I'm gonna wait till after I get the Eye of Cthun so I can confirm Cthun off the top. Right now, if I play this spell first, I get a bunch of kill moxes. Uh, that'll be fine, I don't care. I think we're gonna do that. Confirm more kill moxes. Play one of those. And then I think we're actually just going to play Polk Kelt. Because we're getting to the point of the game that I have enough soul fragments to make two uh, militias an insane turn. So. From what I'm seeing... Sea Giant's the only big minion he's got. And Killmox? Kind of a big minion I've got. <laughs> I think I'll actually happily take those to the face. He can do as much damage as he wants. I heal for 20 next turn. Alright, it's fine. Let's see if he can deal with this. If he can deal with that, then I'll start playing sociologists and stuff. <laughs> I figured. I had a pretty scary hand. I had a lot of pressure coming. Oh yeah. New. Bonus. This is bonus. Right now. I could pull Kelt Draxus. This is bonus. Right now. Bonus for you guys. This is bonus for you guys. We're gonna get some Journey to Ungoro. Right here. Pack opening bonus. Nice. Ooh. Nah, 
bad, not bad. And now back to our featured presentation. My 6-0 duels run, right? Yeah, 6-0 duels run. Doesn't pick up my claps, does it? It doesn't. That's crazy. I think the reason I sound so weird, like I'm stuck in a cave, is because of the fact that, uh, uh, what do you call it? RTX voice is like trying to mute out the fan while it like picks up my voice. So, it's just weird. But I will see you guys when I get to the next one. Finally. For the love of God. Oh, here it goes. The game's gotta sh shut me down. You guys ready to see what I deal with with my life? I like this hand. But against Hunter, it's not good. Actually? Yeah, it's not good against Hunter. Maybe Fist of Draxus was okay. Eh, it's okay now, no matter what. But I don't play a lot of minions that are gonna lose to that, so... What kind of hunter is this? What are the odds he just instantly kills kills that? I'm half tempted to just play this card straight up. That's eight damage just exploding. We'll see what he can deal with first. He's got a no more, please. Can't deal with anything. Hit him. Nice. This triggers twice, doesn't it? I don't like any of these options. That one? I don't like it all. I don't want to give up a mana crystal. For a one drop, three five taunt? I might give up a mana crystal. What does this confirm out of my deck? Malkazar's Imp, of course. Doom Guard. Void Drinker, Kill Mox. It's gonna trigger twice, so it might just screw me over. Not gonna do it. I may just hit face and then Soul Shear. But that, of course, it's gonna just Soul Shear now. <laughs> now I need more minions on board to, like, have a good soul shear. I'll take that. I got two cards I'm willing to discard. Ah, uh, that's... I think we just do it. Just to kill it. Do I just ever play this? Do I ever just play this? Just because. It'll put me down, and I don't think I want to be down against Hunter. I think I want to kind of keep up with Hunter. I think I never want to be, like, at a low against Hunter. Because of this kind of stuff. I need to kill that ASAP. That's fine. I can get just rid of, get rid of this stupid Felguard. I bet that's Explosive Trap or Fair Trap. Those are the ones I'm seeing a lot. Because I think they want that kind of like heavy pressure. So they played Bear Trap, which gives him a 3-3 taunt. I don't want to play this because I'm going to draw four demons. Which will kind of mow through my deck a little. Which is kind of sad. But I might do it actually. That's, that doesn't sound that bad now that I think about it. 
that's a lot of value. Because I get my kill moxes, I get the other demons out of my deck. So whenever I find philosophy, I can just go get my kill moxes online. Because the he, he's going to have all this kind of like little stuff that's just going to chip away. And if I can get three kill moxes and have those three like health regains, he's going to be kind of at a uh, standstill. I imagine. If he just starts playing a bunch of cards, I'll just do this. That'll destroy two random minions. Especially if he's about to play something big. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we'll see what we can do. No. I've been talked into it. Spirit Jailer, Malkazar's Amp, Void Drinker, Kill Mox. I think we play Malkazar's Amp. Silver Wear Golem. And then Spirit Jailer. Okay, starting to go through my deck, which is closer and closer to Cthulhu. And now I gotta kill Mox. I've got some cool little demon synergy going. Get some soul fragments. I got it all. I'm kinda sitting on top of all of it right now. I can't play kill mox yet. I need more than one kill mox. That's the thing. Wait, let it spawn, then do it again. Let it spawn, do it again. Hit it again. Okay, I got a few things I'm willing to get rid of. That was one of them. I'm kind of playing a big hand here. Is that freezing trap? No, because it let me attack that. What is that then? Nine cards. Oh yeah. That's just gonna get scary after a while. That's like four cleared minions. Uh oh. Ten cards. I think we just have to play the bone web by himself. Not my favorite thing to see, but if I get like uh Heart of Kathun, which I think I have in hand, yeah. Then it should be fine. No, because it'll trigger twice. That was a waste of a guy, I guess. But I gotta find my way around this stupid hunter. I don't really care that I'm getting clopped, or clop dropped, or whatever it is. Caltrops. Five. <laughs> Let's see what you get. I don't think it'll be any good. Great, that's fine. At least he's gonna get a lot of value off of it. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's whatever. I mean, I think I'm just gonna do this next turn. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't have a very productive turn. I got rid of the Bone Crusher, though. But he, I bet he's got nine lives. Somewhere he's got nine lives sitting there. I think it's worth playing Heart of Cthune just to clear with it. Because the way Heart of Cthune's going to work is it's going to blow some stuff up. That's what I'm hoping. Making me draw a card. What an evil man. What an evil, evil man. I actually want that. I can do that. It's gonna trigger again, right? Kill everything. Except for you. Which, in that case, I'll deal with it like that. And then I'll leave it alone because I don't need to fill my hand anymore. Because I'm sitting at nine cards. I've got clearage for everything, dude. I got clear four minions. I got deal 14 damage. I got kill marks. That's not very good.
I think we just kind of try to play a swing turn here. With a few big minions and see what I can do. Trying, trying to clean up my hand a little. Trying to get it smaller so I can keep discarding and kind of playing around. I might just play that by itself. Let's deal 8 damage randomly. He could hit that. I don't know. I don't think... What is it? What would that be? 6? Getting a 6 mana taunt in hand is going to be very good. But what do I know? If I could just have 7 hit him and 7 hit him, that'd be great. I could do that. If he plays another, if he plays the one that he's got, I'll kind of do this. Get some clearance, do 10 damage to face. Oh, I forgot he hit Cthune. Huh. He's filling his hand, ain't he? That's interesting. I think we still play Eye of Cthune anyways. Right? Uh, I don't really need that right now. I think I've already got one in hand. What is my lowest cost card? Three? Why can't I play this? Oh, it has to be two? That's weird. Would you look at the face damage? It's kind of annoying. That's what I was thinking, buddy. Alright, what can I get rid of? I got a few things I want to get rid of. Fist of Jerex, this is one of them. Hit him! Nice! My lowest cost card is now the Bone Web. Nice. Okay, unless that's Explosive Trap, I think we're doing fine. I don't have lethal or anything like that. Is he gonna play two of them? Oh? Oh. What? <laughs> Hold on. There's two of them? Silence and destroy all minions? Oh, there's two of them because I did that. I'll just play it because I ain't got any more tempo. Do I still have enough mana to play one of those? Tyreek, grant me wings. He's dead. He's got to have like an entire board clear. Or I could just do this again. Nah. I'm gonna shit on his grave. Bonk. Yeah. I reek. Grant me wings. That's a good choice. I've, I've liked how that card felt. That card's felt good. Alright, after this kills minion game 2 1. That might be good. I always have a lot of little minions on board. That'll trigger twice, which will give them summon 2. But I think this is the best thing in the world. Like, best thing in duels by itself. But the problem is, do I have enough healing to kind of keep up with this? It's got. Yeah, I'm taking it. Well, that's healing. But discard stuff is so powerful for me. We're at 7. 7-0. Seven oh. I'm the king of the world. I doubt this is going to be a 12. I don't know if I'll ever get a 12. But we can dream. If I can hit double digits. You guys ready to see me go 3-0? and oh? I want you guys to know. That, that took like a solid five minutes. Like, holy shit. <laughs> that is the slowest queuing I've ever been a part of.
Alright, well, we're back in it now. As soon as I find Philosophy, we're going to have three kill moxes stacked up, ready to go. Uh, silverware Golem, right up there. No, do we Spear or Silverware first? I think we Silverware first. That's a lot of abilities. Plus, he just got three random cards, which means his hand could be absolute garbage. Double time. I got my Faerus Blade ready to go. That's a lot of damage face. I've lost to those by themselves. I think you just stop playing minions. I think that's the only way to really beat them. Um. If I do this, let's go to four. Silverware Golem. Nice! No, it didn't copy twice. I'm stupid. This just in, I'm stupid. If I lose, the only one to blame is me. Unless it's absolute garbage. It's a sad day when Cthulhu no longer one-shots. I outrange him in cards, right? Yeah, by five. Oh dear. What did he just copy? Why did he play that? That's fine. I'll kill it, I guess. I'm wasting all my good stuff early. That's my problem right now. Now he knows that I have a kill mox. That's gonna make that cost higher, right? Yeah. I'm I'm genius. What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> no. No. I'm a genius. Great final words. How's he going to deal with two four threes on turn four? Demon Hunter doesn't have much clearage. What? Wait, 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 wait. No. No, because those will be really small, won't they? That's fine. What does this do? After you play around, replay it. We tempo that out, hit the button, kill Mox. They're only going to be, like, small, right? They're not going to be big at all. They could only be, like, 2-2s, two right? What does kill Mox start out as? 3-3? Three, three? He's going to have 3-3 three, three rush life steals because he's never discarded a card. That's fine with me. You know, this is coming more handy than I thought it would. Like, honestly, it's a, it's, it was a good card. Three of them is not bad either. Because if he plays a lot of small stuff here, I could do this and just kind of run it. I think I might end up just doing it. Magical. Yeah, I think I might just end up going with it. Actually, I could destroy both right now. Right? I could either random it and hit face twice, which I think is what I have to do, right? Would you look at that luck? Yeah, he stole kill mox. That's not something I wanted him to steal, but then I realized that like he only gets the three three version and a small little three three kill mox. Not that scary actually. 
Need more cards. I need Malkazar's Imp so I can just kind of get my hand full. I think I prefer playing from a full hand. Even if it's like 9 cards. Because like, I have so much reaction and stuff. I know some people like, don't like playing with big hands. Because like, it's never what you want it to be. <laughs> uh oh. Do I play this just to get Ticketus online? No. Because he's 6 now, right? Yeah. I don't think I play that yet. I think I hold on to that until I can, like, confirm kill some things. Because the problem, if I'm beating on something without using, like, my, uh, without killing it, then my durability is going to go down a lot. So I think we just kind of hold on to it, pray he doesn't have ooze or something. But I know ooze is a really popular card in this game mode. This will trigger twice and clear both of them, right? Yeah, it's gonna clear twice. So now he can trade off a kill mox again. I didn't want that card. Discard my highest cost card. That's really risky. I know it's a one in three chance. But like if anybody's about to lose Ticketus, it's about to be me. <laughs> oh lord. He's going for that big bang. That big hit to the face. See, I can heal that back right now. Idiot. What you got for me? I don't think I need that right now. That's what I was hoping to get. I need some kind of, like, pressure. <laughs> That's fun. I got another one. And I think I'm gonna hold on to that one for more clearage. That's from Philosophy, whatever it is. So, it's gonna be a little buffed. I think it's... I think he already buffed his kill moxes, right? Replay it. What is happening? <laughs> Holy cow. Is that lethal? What in the world? I heal it all back, but like... That's scary. I need to clear all of those. <laughs> that's, that's so much pressure, holy cow. I need to heal. Unless he's gonna be stupid and not hit me in the face. Yeah. I need a good 4 cost. I need some kind of clearage. Not what I want. Not what I want either. You kill the big one. We're gonna use this first so I can try to kill two of them. There we go. I wanted to not risk it and try to hit face with it. I got another kill mox ready to go. So. I think I might Feorce's Blade here. I know Ticketus is a really good choice. Because I could clear some really good stuff. But like. I don't know yet. He's running low on cards. So he's kind of running out of options. And if he can't kill this right now. I'm going to heal for another 20, which is going to put him in a place he does not want to be. Then I'll Feyorus's Blade. 
If he can't kill it, I'm not gonna fail fail versus blade. If he can kill it, I'm gonna fail versus or if he can't kill it, I'm gonna fail versus blade. If he can, I won't. If he can kill this, I probably need to play Void Drinker or uh sociologist because I need to clear all this. He said seven minute turn. Dear lord. This guy's slow. He's probably playing the levels, right? Like, it's no longer uh, how many turns or whatever. It's like more time now that you can get EXP from. So he's probably just roping. Or he mentally left the game because he's scared. <laughs> well, it happens to the best of us, you know. Sometimes you just get outplayed. I'm 8 0. I'm living the dream right now. I do like my silverware golems, but Twisting Nether? I don't think I need clears. I think I'm pretty strong by myself. Alright, well, I'll see you guys when I jump into the next game. I don't know why my queues are so long, but they're being outrageous. What is that hero power? Oh! How can I, kill what's already dead? I wish Rattlegore would just like scream all the time. Like seriously, I wish he just kind of like... I wish I had it on replay where he just like scream into my ears like a madman for like 12 hours straight. Interesting choice. Dude, I'm 8 no. That's crazy right now. I don't think I've ever done this good. Usually, like yesterday when I was playing and getting warmed up for today and trying to figure out all the basics and stuff and like redoing a bunch of research and blah 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 I kind of learned that like choose a friendly minute to take another random one no I think that's better I kind of need that early card draw card draw choose a friendly minion to attack a random enemy minion okay but no what was I saying yeah when I was practicing and learning everything I was like to lose, or I've lost twice by like my second, third game. But today I'm just like on fire, dude. I'm hitting it. I'm playing so good. If he can't do anything, I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. So now I can get rid of Void Walker. Draw me two cards and give this plus one, plus one. I don't know what his game plan is here. He should have killed this, but it is what it is. I'm gonna probably I have Kathan if he doesn't play anything, but I'm gonna try to play around it. Yeah, I have Kathan. It is. Oh, what Wind Fury? What? Oh, I see. I thought he got Wind Fury. I was so confused. That's not even worth it. I think we get rid of the ooze. He ain't got pillage or anything like that. So, like, he can't get that scary. Okay, where's this blade? You got me fired up. You got me fired up. And what should I do about that? I'm hoping it leaves it at one. 
Oh, it's dead. So now I can get rid of Hand of Gold and or this. We have so much discard stuff. This is crazy. Fill my hand with a bunch of copies and stuff. I can deal 8 face damage. That's kind of scary, actually. That's actually kind of scary. Falcazar's Imp did a lot of damage, though. I could probably kill it. But how, like trustworthy am I because this will do four damage but I can't use this right I either have to do four damage or risk it all trying to kill it which will just do four more damage let's see oh I can't kill it okay I'm dumb I guess I could have done it the other way around, though. No, because then it, there has been that chance that I did kill it. I think we just play the next school spirits, right? And we try to do something discard related. Probably one of these end ones here, like that. And we can play one of those to try to get them protected. Uh, I don't know when we play versus Blade against Warrior. I know when we do it against Hunter. That's kind of spooky. But nothing really bad to worry about, you know. I think we might actually just flat out Fist of Jaraxxus. I think that would be so powerful right now. Just 8 face damage. I, I'll take that. Do I draw a card and try to get some more uh, discard stuff? or just I'm just going to do 8 face. Because I got lethal on deck right now. I can even do 2, so if he kills this, then I got lethal still. He's got to figure something out soon. Because he's got to kill that. Unless that's an Execute or a Plague of Wrath. Then I don't know what he could do. That, that'll work. It's a 1-3. I want to play Horses Blade. I do. But like... I just don't know when. Okay, so... That's probably better. That's crazy. I wish I would have known. Nine? That's bonkers, dude. I think we just play those by themselves. Because if he can clear if he can clear this, I have a whole army ready to go. Even if I draw two of them, it's still oh, three of them. It's a whole army. This guy's... Whoa, what is that? Brewster the Brutal? Rush after this minion attacks, summon a minion from your deck with Rush. Summon a Rush minion from your deck. Brewster the Brutal. If you want to know why he crossed the road, you go ask him. That's hilarious. You know, I'm not even upset. Huh, that's fun. What are the odds? What does this do? And hit this guy. That'll be super nice clearing. Beautiful. Then we can hand of gold and. Bam. I'm making it work. We got some healing on deck. 
Some insane plays. Nice. We're getting there. Making it work. He's gonna die next turn. I don't know what he could do to get out of this. He's got some small stuff. Two taunts, which he could use, but I don't know if they're big enough. He's gonna kill that. And play a taunt. I think he just loses. Yeah, he just loses. That's it. Sure. Nice. This is crazy. I'm 9 0. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm getting nervous out here. Give your minions plus one one to taunt, shovel this into your deck. Next Spyglass is the best one, because that'll give me two cards from them, each of them discounted by three. Which, of course, if I can face another Arch Witch and steal Kill Moxes, then we're on a bit of a mission, dude. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. These cues take forever. I hope you guys know that I literally sat there for like a solid 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> okay, um... I think we... Mount Kazar attempt. Point Silverware Golem. There's a lot of demon hunters and stuff. That's scary. That's a lot of damage, actually. If he starts playing like twin slices, that's a 4 4, then 2. Inner Demon is 16. Some fast pressure. Fiorus's Blade will come along. Uh, nicely, if this is a small uh, demon hunter. But the problem is, this hero power just seems insane. I thought the first one was insane. But I guess. The game just likes breaking demon hunter. Just going straight face? That's interesting. Why is he killing the 3 3? Does he just want me to draw cards forever? Is it that kind of thing? I might kill it. <laughs> Problem is, I'm getting a lot of card draw. Because he's not playing anything, you know? As long as he's not playing anything, I have nothing to use all my reaction stuff on. And my hand is like all reaction right now. Play minions. I got a Feoris's Blade ready to go. Finally, he killed it. Heaven almighty, I thought he was never going to kill it. He's got a lot of face damage going on, though. Like... Jeez. I really can't do anything. Everything's reaction. He's just spelling me. <laughs> How am I supposed to counter a man who can just spell me to death?
Oh, that's good for me. I got something to get rid of some of my spells and stuff on. Now I got some healing in the deck too, so. I need him to just start mass playing minions. If he can start mass playing minions, everything will kind of go smoothly. Great. Great. It's minus four. We'll just have a little peek. <laughs> what does that say? Shuffle one of them into their deck. Aww. Yeah, it's whatever. You're giving me more stuff to deal with, so... I can't be mad at that. That will kill my minion, won't it? He's, it's gonna kill him, right? That's just what it's gonna do. Yeah. Is there anything I want to discard? No, I think I'm happy with my hand, actually. I got... Burst. I got clearing. I got clearing. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much damage. I need healing, that's what I need. I ain't got any healing. I got Jeltic, but like, she's too small, it doesn't really matter. I need, uh, kill Mux. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord in heaven. I'm dead, aren't I? This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. He's hit me like three times. So, I don't think I'm going 10 and 0. I think this is the end of my uh, perfect run. Kind of sad. We're coming up on the two hour mark, dude. I've been sitting here for a while. Is he healing me for three like a homie? This guy, dude. I need kill mox. I need kill mox now. That's not what I need. He's just gonna have the time of his life and go burst for 80,000. I'll get rid of Shadow Bolt if I can. Not what I want either. He might just have lethal. Eight damage doesn't seem like a lot for him. Yeah. He just has lethal, right? Already at five. Damn. That's rough. Now I'm sad. Alright. It's always the fourth or fifth uh, re reset. I want silverware. That's a 3-3 three, three start. I should have kept Slurry Mob just in case he had some fast, uh, some kind of fast to plays. Oh, spell damage plus three. That'd have been crazy. I want that. I'm kind of jealous myself. I'm at nine wins. Got to win three more. I believe in myself, dude. Here he comes, dude. The silverware man. Wow. Hmm. 
I could use this and get rid of Slurry Mob. And make that all big and scary. But there still is that chance he just clears it all. So I'm not going to do that. That could change everything if he just starts clearing it. Wow, that was a fast juice. He instantly knew what he wanted. I'm just going to Slurry Mob that. It's not even worth trying to fight at that point. There you go. Now I got two slurry mobs in my deck, right? No, I don't. I don't. What a shame. Kind of low on cards. <laughs> That's so crazy. There, I'm starting to get cards, but he's going to kill that instantly because that's a big old threat. Yeah. At least he's not getting a lot of bonus off of it, right? I still think we just uh, discard that. Yeah. And then we could just play this one, deal 8 to face. No, because I want to discard it. What are the odds he has a weapon? He could have Feoris' blade. Oh my gosh, dude. He's going to kill me with just straight up uh, spells. I keep thinking they're all doubled, but they're not. I'm trying to get more cards so I can have more reaction. Right now, I'm not sitting at very, very much reaction. Like, in all seriousness, I'm kind of running out of reaction. He's got me, he's got me beat in the Cthune game. Because he has less cards. Interesting. That just summoned, what did that do? I saw that. You didn't have to hide it. All three kill boxes, dude. There. Now he knows that I'm a threat. Now he knows that I ain't messing around. And I got that big heal. Thanks, idiot. Face my big heal. Oh yeah? Well, I've got four. Actually. Boom. I'm the king. And if he clears that, I got another one stacked and ready to go. My hand is okay. It's not super impressive, but it's not super bad. What are the odds he has a second one? That's my question. What are the odds he has two? Hand, gold, and. I could use one of those right now. What is that? Is that your... You just drop it to drop it. That's fair. Eat your heart out. He already knows I have a kill mox, so what's the point in not playing kill mox, you know? Or not showing my kill mox. Yeah, let's get some heals in. That's two six sixes. I think double is better than plus three. In terms of sell, or in terms of value. That was good. Interesting.
I got I got some pretty strong stuff, you know. Deal is if he Cthulhu's, I'm not gonna die. If I can keep above 30 health, if he Cthulhu's, I'm not gonna die. And that's what I get to go to sleep knowing. Is that if he drops that Cthulhu, I don't die. And that's up in the 3-3 three, three with life steals, right? I think we go for the small tempo. And then we just play that just to have a minion on board. Come on, game. Keep me above 30. Do it for me. I'm waiting for him to drop something big, like his own kill mox, so I can counter my kill mox with his, because mine's is probably bigger. Because it's got that plus 2-2 two -two already from the two uh, deals. He is really trying to keep me from healing. The deal is, if he plays anything big, I'm going to have some kind of clear for it. Interesting. A gold Jaraxxus. That's kind of sick. I feel like just dropping a kill mox to get that full heal... Beat him in the face. I'm not going to keep it. I need something like Pole Kelp. You know? Actually, I want Malkazar's Imp. If I could get Malkazar's Imp, we're going to start moving. But right now, I got only Reaction. Because I don't necessarily want that. Okay, yeah, that's. I guess we kill Mox that, I guess. Because he wasted his cascading disaster. And if he's got another, then it probably won't matter that much. But I think we just do it to clear it, unless we get something better to clear right here. That's what I was thinking. That'll cast twice. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> I got a full health regain. No! This guy's little spells are kind of threatening. Show me your kill mox. My kill mox will take your kill mox. My kill mox will beat your kill mox up. That's a good get rid of. Huh. I'm half tempted to kill Mox that. Draw two demons. What are my demons? Balcazar's Imp? And this guy. I'm just gonna play that to play it. I don't need to. I I got so much like stuff I want to discard like this. That like holding on to a silverware golem is just never gonna be used because I got three kill moxes, so it's just kind of like, you know. That's interesting. I kind of want him to hit me again. But unless he Cthuns, I didn't, which I don't think he has. I think he's missing uh, uh, the Maw, because I haven't really played anything sticky. I wonder if he's holding on to it for my uh, kill mox. Um, that's fine, I guess.
Um. See, now I got a big hand of stuff. <laughs> I got a big old reaction hand. That's great. I'll play that. Two pieces of Cthun left. Cthun. Then I have it. Some huge kill moxes for when he plays his. And if we both Cthun each other and we both live to tell the tale, then it's fine, you know? I'll take that, actually. Do I do this? I think I do this. And then Feyoris is played. He's got one of those. He's got two of those. I'll take one. I need one more. Give me one more. Thank you. As long as I can stay above death, I'm happy with my situation. How many soul fragments he got? Okay, so we're about tied in terms of card draw. I don't exactly know how. Nine, eight, I have two, he has two, he has seven. I'm one below him. If I can get my eye of Cthune, we might be fine. I think he's waiting on his maw. I want him to play a card. Just play any card. Get rid of one of your bone webs and I'll double uh, maw heart. Get rid of philosophy. Has he not found his kill mox yet? He's taking 10 to the face. 14. What are the odds that I get some insane stuff? No. As long as this is in my hand, he'll stay. <laughs> I don't feel like risking it, really. I think... He's dead if I draw Eye of Cthun. Because... No, because I'll have to kill something. That's good for kill mocks and stuff. I don't have any way to deal with that, really. See, now I can maw. I can maw and probably doom guard. That's what I wanted. He's only got one of those. Because he's yet to duplicate it, right? All is healing. Gone. <laughs> See, now he can just he now he can just weapon my kill mox. There it is. That's a little what I was afraid of. That's not good. This is a full clear. This puts Cthulhu into my deck. Maybe I just play both. Right? He can't kill me with Cthun. He'd waste his mana and have 31 damage. I think I won. I don't know if he can deal with this. If he can, if he can just do... A 10 mana Cthun is too much. 
He can't kill me with a 10 mana Cthune, right? I have four cards left. He doesn't know I have Cthune. I was going to Lore Keeper Poke Hulk, or Poke Hulk. See, I could heal for 40 right now. <laughs> that makes me feel so threatening when I can just heal for 40. I could heal for 80, technically. Wow. That was an intense game. Nice, dude. I'm at 10. 10 and 1. There's four games left at the most. Give me a treasure. Silence and destroy all enemy minions. Charge. Kill Mox minus that. One of these two. I, I don't know how often this one would come into play because everything I have is kind of clearing. So I do think Gnomish Army Knife is what I want. Which is crazy because if I can get Pokelt and then get my Kill Mox and have that ready to go and then have Demonic Studies. I'm talking about OTK stuff over here. You guys, you guys don't understand my OTK level of mindset now i'm thinking about turn five turn like 10 lethal i just got 10 mana i had lethal ready to go doom guard scholar and acid swamp ooze i'm keeping the ooze because i'm about to get one shot actually i don't think the ooze matters because i'm about to get one shot just in case he plays an early weapon that's not bad at all that keeps me up play this coin that is that the combo is that the combo that's beat me last time Kill Mox, the banished one. One piece of the combo down. <laughs> Never forget that the combo is coming together in my head. If I can get Gnomish Army Knife with Wind Fury, I don't even have to make Kill Mox very big. <laughs> if I can just get Gnomish Army Knife and Kill Mox. No, but he has to be a discounted Kill Mox. That's the thing. So I gotta get Demonic Studies. Oh my god, dude. Already gonna hit me. What a crazy setup. Turn 2, 11 damage. Not what I wanted. I believe this is two losses to Demon Hunter. I have faith, but just not very much of it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, he's got double time. I don't know if that was optimal. But I don't really care. I already see me don't win in this one. Because I don't know how to deal with what he does. I mean, he... If I had this ready to go, he might be able to deal with it. I think that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I can get her going and get her going strong... Then I don't necessarily have to deal with anything, right? Do I just do the face damage and kill this before it gets too scary? And then try to discard my Jikilk? Jikilk? Eh, it's no surprise I have my lethal kill mox.
I feel like this one's a lot slower than the last one I played. That last one, one turn did 24 damage. Okay. I can just do this and clear it. Right. That'll work too. Actually, I want to do this. I need to discard I Priestess. Really? As long as he's hitting me for like 20 damage with his face, it's going to be difficult to beat him. I don't, I wouldn't think he has much clearing because I think this is like a pure kind of a, uh, there we go. That's what I needed to ooze for, dude. I think this is more of a uh, aggro type deck. I think it's just hit your opponent as hard as you can, as fast as you can. So I'm half tempted to just drop the kill mox, you know, and see what I can do with it. He's going to silence my dude as soon as I drop him. That's the thing. Uh, would this go back to a 3-3? He'd lose all his buffs, wouldn't he? Yeah. I think it's worth hitting whatever he dropped. No. I might just drop it now. I might just drop it now. He's already wasted two of them, right? No, because it was double-casted. If he plays a minion, I'm, dr I'm playing... Kill Mox, I think. I need that heal to deal with whatever he throws. Give me philosophy. Do it now. That sucks. Um, I don't want to play the Kill Mox. That's the thing. That's going to hit my own minion, ain't it? That sucks. Not bad. Does this mean he's got lethal? Does this mean he's just got 13 burst damage? I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. Well, there you have it. There's one deck that beats me right now. That's the deck. There's one class on the planet that can handle me. I don't think another slurry would help because I don't use the first one very much. This is Demon Hunter. We're in, we're in for it. Mozaki? Is this going to be nuts? You tell her. I second that. Whatever she said. Give me a good discard. I've got I've got 8 of them on my deck. Plays a minion. This guy's gonna have, he's gonna be a 1-1. One, one. Man threatens. Hero power that. Do it. Coin hero power it. Well, I threatened. I think I clear that like a madman. Well, it's good because I put more soul fragments in my deck. 
That's, that's, that's gonna be okay, I think. I was gonna say crazy, but I don't see how it's gonna be insane. I got my, uh, two card, three card, because I now need Demonic Studies or, uh, whatever card I just grabbed. Which card was that? Hunter's Insight, yeah. Hunter's Insight, Demonic Studies, Kill Mox, into Gnomish Army Knife, Lethal. Sometimes it hurts being as scary as me. He's gonna have one health. That poor, that poor soul. Bonk. He's not gonna have a weapon. I'm gonna put my foot down on that one and say he's not gonna have a weapon. Or he plays his weapon now, and it's the deal 2 damage with hero power weapon, and then which that one doesn't really scare me. I think we just play Eye of Cthune, right? I'd love to be able to get my Faerus' Blade online and kind of just quick clean up uh, the Mana Worms and everything. The problem is I kill just about everything. Let's bop that, therefore this has a better chance of dying. There we go. This guy, he likes his emotes. Hey? Hey? Hey, I could... Have I used a spell this turn? No. It's worth just getting three of them. Like, right, right there. What are you doing? Three Doom Guards, which are gonna discard the... They're gonna discard each other. What a waste. I'm so stupid. If I lose, it's my fault. I keep thinking every spell is gonna trigger twice. But it's not. Well, at least I can start discarding them, right? Get out of here. I think we just play heavy face, right? I can do 14 burst. And if he plays a minion, I can do 9 to the face, I think. I got 14 burst unlock. Secret. You don't know. Go get Nice. Do I check for any secrets beforehand? I can't really check unless I waste that. That mirror entity or something? No. Bone web. He's dead next turn. With Doomguard, he's just dead. I guess Doomguard came in handy, I guess. But I didn't need three of them. I just have lethal off the top. It doesn't matter. Yeah, wouldn't you have taunted me? You would have taunted me, little Mozaki. What does this do? Add a random card? That's not good. No, I wanted the random card. Hit all three, hit that. Oh, I can give that divine shield now. Aw. It's a good weapon. It's a good, good weapon. It's crazy once you get going. Okay, last game. <laughs> in the Battlecraft 3, both players draw two cards and gain an empty. Do I have three death rattles? I don't even think I got one. Oh? 
Princess just spawns like six of those. I think this is okay. It's it's a slow weapon, but it's better. Eh. Last game. Here we go. Faith. Faith is what we need. Fear will keep them in line. I believe in this. Arch may or Arch Witch Willow. Twelve one. Get a big swig of eggnog first. Get ready to go. No demon hunter. I've lost twice to demon hunter. I beat everything else. No demon hunter. Give me a rogue or something. I forgot to pause the recording. I'll see you guys in a second. After a two-minute queue, I finally have returned to face the final game against Omu. Okay. If he's super aggressive, then we might have a problem. If he spells, then we might have a problem. I don't have any way to really deal with super aggression. Uh, super aggression. But I think if I can find school spirits and stuff like that, then we might stand a chance. Because last time I killed his stuff as soon as he got started. But judging by what he's picked up, he is super aggression. Maybe. Give all your minions plus one. That's interesting. So he's just really aggressive, question mark? Dude, I'm so nervous. Ooh. That give me two coins. Okay, now I have something to deal with it. Cool. I have something to deal with. Some kind of high-pressure, insane magic man. I think I'm just gonna play, like, heavy clearing. That'll kill both of them. What are the odds we get something good? There we go. Okay, now we got a lot of cards. We've got some heavy clearing. I feel more comfortable. My heart is still racing so fast. I've never been this close to winning duels. Okay. <laughs> Donk. That's funny. Every time. Bloated zombie. That's not good. I left one alive. You know, that does have the chance of getting very annoying. That doesn't confirm anything, does it? If I can just, like, heavily play defensive, I could probably run him out of cards. But he's got this ready to go. But I've got this ready to go. So, if he plays it here... Which I do think I need to clear this. Yeah, I probably need to clear this. I 
At least I would think so, right? Then next turn, we see if we can drop one of these and then play that. Or at least hold on to it for a little bit. What I need is Feyoris' Blade. <laughs> if I can get Feyoris' Blade, then we'll kind of be moving. That's good. I don't want to risk getting rid of any of my Cthulhu stuff. Is that online? So it's either destroy two things or play a Void Drinker. That's my only options. No. Because that'll shoot my own minion. Probably kill my Silverware Golem. I'm so nervous, right, dude? That's spooky. But it's dead. So no longer super spooky. That is still spooky, though. Kill that. Get rid of the silver wiggle. You son of a gun. Oh my gosh, dude. What is that, 11, 12? Oh my gosh. It's so hard to keep up with this. I need school spirits. That's not going to save me. None of this is going to save me. Because I'm just buffing everything as I try to protect myself. what I got. Six healing. He just hit that. Hit me for 10, 13. He'd use... I don't know, weapon... It is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next one.